after learning, what do you do with what you've learned? Dare to speak. That's what I always say. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for all your love and support. Guys, it means so, so, so much to me. Okay guys, so in today's video, we have someone really special. We have my husband here with me for today's video, and I'm really excited actually for to have him here. We will be sharing with you his story actually, how he learned to speak Dutch in just three months okay i feel like there's just always this negative vibe regarding learning a new language and people feel like it takes forever and it has taken forever for me you know but i decided to share my husband's story because it was different for him and he was able to learn dutch within i think three months at least he was able to speak and communicate to an extent yeah and with more like uh, express myself yeah within three months yeah I agree. He was able to express himself within three months. And I think after five months, he was actually able to take some job interviews yeah. in Dutch, which is really, really insane. So yeah, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into this video. <laughs> uh, my name is Chike and uh, I'm just being so spent. <laughs> I've never been good at learning languages. And I think up to now, I would say I am not good at learning languages, okay. but I was able to achieve this. If, if you're struggling with learning languages and you feel, oh no, I'm done. Well, I think this, uh, this is more like a video for you of how to actually go about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Thank you actually for sharing it because it's important for people to know where you are yeah. when it comes to languages because people tend to assume that the only people that can learn languages fast are people who are who either are good, good at, it, at languages or people who speak multiple yeah, languages. Yeah, correct. I just also want to point out that this is the first language my husband is actually learning as an adult. So yeah. he has never had to learn a new language as an adult. The languages he speak were languages he kind of grew up with. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to know, when did you come to the Netherlands? How long have you been here? Yeah. And when did you start your journey of learning Dutch language? I think now I'm about just a little bit over two years now in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And when I came in, mm -hmm. I, I think within in the next month, I just went straight away to learn the language. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the major driver was because I knew I would want to contribute more and I would want to integrate more into the society, me mm -hmm. being a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I felt that if I really wanted to have a connection with mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. being a foreigner, then I need to learn the language and know, yeah, and that's how I'm going to get um, more from uh, relating with the people apart from a surface level. Mm -hmm. So that brings me to the number one reason or number one tip mm -hmm. uh, how you can actually be fluent in, in a language mm -hmm. and that number one thing is purpose mm. and and that's how my journey started like what exactly is your purpose for learning this language yeah because you need to have a purpose the purpose is what drives you to want to do that mm -hmm. even when everything around you is against you wanting Did to achieve know? that yeah big language. okay so he gave us his first tip actually he said the first tip is to get a purpose like why do you want to learn a new language like why do you really want to yeah. is it for the fun of it is it for you to integrate whatever it is if you can have a purpose then that purpose would drive you to yeah. kind of learn more yeah. right yeah. <laughs> and i agree with you because recently i've been having this desperate need yeah, to learn yeah. the language. You've been more intentional. I've been very... And then your Dutch, I've, I've noticed that your Dutch within the last, last uh, two, three months have actually improved more than the last uh, two years. Really? Yeah. Ooh, hoops, so. <laughs> <laughs> very soon I'll be sprecking and sprecking and sprecking. <laughs> All right, that takes us to the second uh, question that I have for you today. The question would be, what did you do or how did you learn the language so can you kind of explain i did a course mm -hmm. and i did a four week intensive course mm -hmm. uh like i almost didn't have a life for that first <laughs> one month okay because it was uh eight between 
yeah, eight to five, Monday to Friday. Wow. Yeah, Mondays to Fridays, and I did that for four weeks. Wow. And the first two weeks uh, was for level A0 to A2, mm -hmm. and then the second two weeks, it was for level A2 to B1. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to my second tip, mm -hmm. uh, which is in you choosing a course, you need to choose a course that's a, a course style, teaching style mm -hmm. that matches your personality. Okay, okay. And what I mean by this is I've discovered there are two ways you can use to learn Dutch. Okay. And these two ways, uh, the first one is uh, using the grammar, mm -hmm. where you learn the structure and grammar of Dutch. Mm -hmm. And the second one is using the more like a repetition type, method. where you have, yeah, more like a repetitive method, mm -hmm. where you have a lot of uh, text, you know how things are being pronounced and what they mean mm -hmm. and all that. So the, the first one mm -hmm. for grammar, if you're someone who's very analytical, mm -hmm. like me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like me, I like to faff around. If you find yourself naturally asking too much questions, mm. wanting to probe why things happen, mm. then learn through the grammar. Mm. But if you're kind of person who you don't care as long as it works, <laughs> you're, you're all about results. <laughs> as long as it works mm -hmm. and you get what you're looking for, then just learn through the normal um, repetitive um, process. Yeah. One of the disadvantages of mm -hmm. learning through grammar mm -hmm. is that you get to speak slower. Oh yeah. Because the other person who's learning through repetitive definitely speaks faster. Yeah. But the thing is, you may speak faster. What you're saying may be correct. What you're saying may not be correct, but you don't notice it. Uh, because you don't even you, know so the you, sentence Yes, so you don't really have much of the self-corrective ability. Yeah. So, but if you learn through the grammar, mm -hmm. you would make mistakes, mm -hmm. but you can easily recognize your mistakes yeah. and then you can correct yourself mm -hmm. on the spot or the next time. Mm -hmm. So, are there things you did after your course that you feel helped you to really attain that success when it comes to speaking the yeah. language. So uh, that brings us to the third point. Okay. Because after learning, what do you do with what you've learned? Yeah. And that's the part where you say you practice. Dare to speak. That's what mm. I always say. Mm. Dare to speak. Don't be scared if you make some terrible, <laughs> bloody mistakes. Yeah like me <laughs> <laughs> if you stick around in this video i'm gonna tell you three terrible mistakes that i've made even in a professional setting that got the managers within the setting and then meeting and they hands on their head like oh no <laughs> what did you just say <laughs> <laughs> and the second tip within this is mm. If you're going for shopping mm. or you're going uh, somewhere, yeah. you already anticipate the types of conversation you're going to have. Uh, yeah. Then you 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 go there and then you speak. Mm -hmm. Don't get to the point where you want to speak and then you start thinking of what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Anticipate it, mm -hmm. go there and speak. Yeah. It makes you look more confident. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are there additional, so apart from the um, the Dutch uh, that you learned from Direct Dutch Institute. Were there other things, additional things that you did? Uh, what I did was to go for some uh, online uh, classes mm -hmm. where you have like some volunteers who get to, okay, uh, who are the foreigners who want to learn Dutch. Mm -hmm. And then we practice uh, online once a week, I think mm -hmm. for an hour. I think about 20 weeks or mm. so, something like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, it it helped me, and this lady I <laughs> I practiced with, she never spoke one bit of English. Wow! Not that she didn't speak English, but she never spoke English to me. Hmm. And so I had to force myself to learn mm -hmm. and speak. And then another tip is because you're learning, mm -hmm. a lot of your 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 words are already in English. Mm. So when you learn and when you speak mm -hmm. and then you come to a point where you need to know what a particular thing <clears throat> is in English, mm. 
in, in, in Dutch. Yeah. You can just ask, ask, ask the person, but ask the person in Dutch. You say you want to say, oh yeah, you forgot uh, your pen. Mm. So yeah, uh, who said pen in the Netherlands? The person tells you what it is, and then you say, okay, yeah, good, and then you. Repeat repeats that sentence. and then put in what the right thing is i really appreciate you sharing this because i think a lot of people struggle with even having a common conversation because they don't want to make mistakes yeah but correct. i feel like if you have like some foundational words that you know like or foundational ways to kind of have some conversations yeah. basic conversations it really would go a yeah, long true, way true. Yeah. And yeah, also, back to the interesting part of this video. <laughs> you can tell us the mistakes that you've made. Hmm. And yeah, I would like to actually hear the juiciest one. <laughs> but start with the least juicy <laughs> one and then we end with the juiciest one. So. Okay, uh, the, the first one mm -hmm. is, I think I had been learning Dutch as a den for two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two months. Okay. And uh, Someone asked me how long I had been living in in the Netherlands. Okay. And uh, the the question was, yeah, how long were you in in Netherlands? Mm -hmm. And I think what I said was, he kept two months geleefd, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and the person translated it as. I was two months old. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Like, uh, there's no way you can be two months old. <laughs> and then I, I didn't understand what the problem was. Well, and like, okay. And later on, I understood what I was what? supposed to say. So what was the what was supposed to, what was the correct thing to say? Yeah, you would have. Uh, you know, you, yeah, it uh, won't for two or three year or whatever. Yeah, yeah. in yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then the second one was. It was also when I was right. Yeah, this was exactly when I was learning Dutch. Okay. During my intensive course. Okay. And to be honest, I can't remember exactly what this sentence was. Uh -huh. But I was supposed to write a letter uh -huh. to someone uh -huh. who. I need to ask, oh, are you free in the weekend? Oh, okay. And I'm not sure exactly how I wrote it. And then my teacher kept on laughing <laughs> and laughing. She asked and she looked at me and said, you just don't want to know what you wrote here. I said, what exactly is it? Are you free in the weekend? She said, no. That what I wrote literally means, do you want to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> so will I say that you were cheating? <laughs> With my teacher, yes. <laughs> but this third one was in the professional setting <laughs> at work. Okay. With managers. <laughs> and I was doing a presentation. Okay. In Dutch. Okay. I was presenting, everything was going fine. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to say, okay, so now I would begin with a proposal. Voorspelling means a prediction. Mm -hmm. A proposal means voorstel. Yeah? Vorstel, yeah. This is this isn't Vorstel. That yeah. is a proposal. Yeah. I chose Vorspelling and I knew it wasn't supposed to be Vorspelling and I had to create the word which means a proposal. Okay. Now what I said was uh yeah. Ik begin nu met een voorspel. There was laughter across the room and I looked at them and I said, nay, nay, X, it begin nu met een voorspel. <laughs> <laughs> and my manager told me, can you not just say voorspel one more time? <laughs> and then I asked, what's wrong with a voorspel? <laughs> and then someone beside me just tapped me and told me, do you know what you and your wife do before you go down to business? And I said, yes. Say, that is a voorspel. <laughs> And then immediately it clicks. Like, yeah. Oh, just as in English, for which means for spell means to play. Yeah. So. And if you put that together, that's for play. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I was literally telling this room filled with managers and worse, I was gonna begin with a for play. <laughs> we do. <laughs> learned from it yeah and then so instead of the p i was just supposed to replace it with a, a t. t so instead of four spell 
I was just supposed to say it became a metal voice though. Hmm. And that was it. And just like that, just it's by. Much. Okay, guys. So I think this is the end of this video. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please, guys, consider subscribing. It will mean so so much to me. Please. Okay. <laughs> click click click. <laughs> if you're Dutchy, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> Dutch is in the house. Please let me know in the comment section if there are other tips you feel um, foreigners could use when yeah. learning your language. And yeah, maybe it would be helpful to some other people here. Okay? Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you so much yeah. for thank taking out time to make this for video. For dragging me here. <laughs> <laughs> and making me reveal my secrets. Your secrets. Your deep <laughs> secrets. <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for watching. And see you in my thank next you. one. Bye. Bye.